Welcome to this video. So far, we have learned that the total volume of solid or solids formed after converting a solid to another solid or solids is equal to the volume of the first solid. Today, we will see some interesting examples based on this. Sham works in an iron factory where iron objects of different shapes are made. One day, Sham tries to melt an iron sphere of radius 8 cm and make some cones with a height of 8 cm and radius of 4 cm. Find the number of cones made by Sham. Pause the video and try yourself. Then, match your answer. From the question, let us consider R as the radius of the sphere and let R be the radius of the new cones formed. Height is H. So now, can you calculate the number of cones made by Sham? We learned in the previous video that if a solid is converted into smaller solids of equal measure, the product of the volume of the smaller solids thus formed and the total number of smaller solids is equal to the volume of the larger solid. Here, we have big solid sphere and small solid cones. Therefore, we can also write this statement as follows. We know that the volume of sphere and cone can be determined by these formulas. Substituting all values, we get 16. So, Sham makes 16 cones in this way. Let's look at another example. This cube is made of model making clay. Sanjana transformed this solid into another solid with a radius of 7 cm. Can you calculate the height of this solid? Let the total height of this new solid made by Sanjana be capital H. From the picture, we can see that the new solid is made of a hemisphere and a cylinder. We can also see that the radii of these two solids are equal, that is, 7 cm. For a hemisphere, its radius will be its height. So, what should be the height of the cylinder? Since the total height of the solid is h, and the height of the hemispherical part is 7 cm, therefore, the height of the cylindrical part will be h minus 7. Can you guess the next step now? We know that while converting one solid into another solid, the volume of both solids remains the same. So, the volume of the cube here will be equal to the sum of the volumes of the hemisphere and the cylinder. On substituting all values and solving them, we get H equal to 10.98. So, the total height of the new solid will be 10.98 cm. Today we saw examples based on conversion of solids. In the next video, we will see some more such interesting examples.